Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. There's a Player of the Month SBC that a lot of people are looking forward to on EAFC 24. Now, what I want to talk about is, is this SBC actually coming? When can we expect some more Player of the Month SBCs in general? And also, this market continues to be mudded. We have prices down once again, but will that change a little bit today as we're one day away from the first weekend league of the entire year? We're going to talk a lot today, so a lot to cover today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and, of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content really fast. It was a pretty quiet day, but there was a surprise. And first of all, the SBC that we had, really, there was only one SBC yesterday. It was the lone player pick for an icon just like the hero sbc that expired we did end up getting an icon player pick and guys this sbc is only four percent upvoted on footman at the moment um yeah really not worth it unless you just have a lot of fodder which really i wouldn't put my fodder into this because it requires 286s 285s and an 84 rated squad overall for a 24 game loan base icon which yes kind of would be fun but it's guys just not worth it it's not worth the fodder way more expensive than the hero anyway and we did get a new objective yesterday themed team pursuit which i actually just completed a couple of this uh, a couple sections of it you do get some xp and a couple of packs for doing that and then of course yesterday as well the really big content that was actually a surprise is EA dropped 50k packs in the store with the brand new team of the week. And this, I think a lot of people opened a lot of these yesterday, guys. Like, the market really is down, and it's because of the supply. Now, it doesn't help that I think a lot of people are feeling like the game right now is just a bit quiet and dare i say it dead in a sense as well but this really uh was the content yesterday now it all started off with team of the week cards being extinct on the market the entire team of the week had price ranges of 22,000 coins even this jude bellingham was extinct at 22k all the lower tier informs had their prices capped at 22 now they got price range updates and only one inform now is extinct and that is jude bellingham at 400k not sure why flippin has him in the dortmund uh dynamic image but that is the only extinct card right now um kundanaji just came back on the market kavicha was a extinct at 250k but he is now back on the market as well guys watch these informs today they will be really good to trade with um i i think that kavicha is probably it's around a 200,000 coin card, but these guys are going to drop. Just again, be very careful with informs because they're always their most expensive on Wednesdays and even into Thursday with rewards. Uh, they're a bit expensive, but then they start to drop off. But at the same time, they're still really rare. So they can be very good to trade with if you time it right. Kundanaji is now under 100k after being extinct at like, what was it 140 or something like that. So I feel like this team league is still a bit overpriced for what these players are actually going to end up being over the weekend. So just be careful with that. But with that 50k pack that dropped in the store as well, it wasn't just the informs that got um, supplied a little bit. Man, gold cards, guys are down bad. Usman Dembele, 202,000 coins. He's even uh, a leak. It's not really a trustworthy leak, but some people are saying that he is going to be in the next promo. Varane, who is like 110,000 coins, was under 100k. He's now right there at 100,000 coins. Rudiger was like 80k, I believe, or almost 80k. 77,000 coins, all the way down to 70k. Big drop-offs in price. Musiala was 71, now down to 63. And guys, you look at a lot of graphs yesterday, you just see this. Content time came, and those 50k packs in the store came, and these card prices dropped. I really think it's mostly the store pack, but a little bit of a lack of demand as well. I just think a lot of people, just with this market, are they're not enjoying FIFA at the moment. They're not enjoying EAFC and Ultimate Team, and it just came seeming kind of quiet, and the content's not amazing. So some people are just saying, yeah, you know what? I'm not a huge fan of it, and that's really what's making the market drop. Now, will that turn around? We'll talk a little bit more about the market, specifically today on Thursday, in just a minute. But let's get to the information that we really need to cover today, guys, and that is this. Jude Bellingham, this is the SBC that everybody wants right now in this game. Player of the Month Jude Bellingham, everybody wants it. And this is the award that he won. He won the August Player of the Month Award, which, guys, I hate to break it to you, but we are not getting an SBC for this award because just earlier this week, EA released the vote for the September La Liga Player of the Month. Lewandowski, Bellingham, Inaki, Williams, Kubo, and Savio were in the vote. And in the month of September, yes, Jude had a very solid month. And of course, 
performed very well, had some big moments, but with these player of the months, it always comes down to contributions, namely goals. I believe Lewandowski and Kubo both had four goals on the month, and it is rumored right now that Jude Bellingham is not winning player of the month for September. Now the vote's over and we might have it announced. Usually the official La Liga Twitter account is tweeting out stuff like this picture from the August player of the month. I believe was tweeted out by the official La Liga account. Um, guys, I think there might be a tweet today or maybe tomorrow of a La Liga Player of the Month winner, and I don't think it's going to be Jude Bellingham. Kubo is the rumored winner, um, so we might be getting a Kubo SBC, but I wanted to kind of put some of these rumors to bed because everybody's like, Nate, Jude Bellingham, he's going to be getting a Player of the Month. Why is his inform? Does he have an inform impact right now? Because does that mean he's not winning player of the month? I mean, uh, technically, I think Jude could have won POTM and also had an inform impact at the exact same time. I don't think that would disqualify him because these are de different things. But EA does control um, the team of the week and they less so control the player of the month. They don't choose the players that are in the voting, I believe. Um, I'm not entirely sure how that works. It says La Liga EA Sports, but the entire La Liga is sponsored by EA Sports. So really, I'm not entirely sure how that works anyways. But guys, Jude Bellingham, I don't think is getting a player of the month SBC. So be careful with investing or planning around getting a player of the month Jude Bellingham. That would be an incredible, incredible SBC. And I'd love to be wrong. But if they already have a September vote that is out, we are probably not getting an August SBC for Jude. And therefore, we would just be getting a player of the month winner SBC for the September winner, which is rumored once again to be Kubo, which might not be a bad card. Four star, four star Kubo, five foot eight, three play styles. He's explosive, left footed. He can play right wing, right mid, cam, striker. And he does have pretty low composure, but you I mean boost this card up to like an 84 or an 85 EA, and that actually could be um, a decent card, probably pretty cheap. Tough to link, but that could be a nice player of the month, but not as hyped as Jude. So I wanted to talk about that today because I know some people that were even starting to invest for a Jude player of the month. I actually don't know if that is going to be happening. It looked very promising before, but now not so much. So let's talk about today's market though with Thursday, right? We got rivals rewards that are coming out today. A lot of people still taking the tradable rewards and a lot of people as well need today's rewards to A, go and do an SBC. Guys, a lot of people right now, I think are seeing the Newcastle victory yesterday and where that puts them in the group that gives them one win, a great goal difference um, and puts them in a good position in the group of death to potentially get some upgrades. I think a lot of people today after squad battle rewards are going to go complete or at least work on completing the Bruno Guimaraes. If you take a look at the Footbin popular page, Bruno Guimaraes has risen to the top recently. And actually, I was taking a look at some SBC fodder and I've noticed that SBC fodder on the middle to high tier didn't go up a lot, but it actually started to go up a little bit after it was dropping yesterday. So Beth Mead's like 11, basically 12,000 coins. At content, all of these 87s went down to about 10K with the supply, right? The 50K pack, that was one of the big reasons we mentioned that prices went down yesterday because we had that 50K pack, supply, supply, supply. But shortly afterwards, a lot of these cards went right back up. And I think that's because people went to the market or went to the game and started doing this brutal game of rash because they saw how Newcastle performed. And since the SBC is still available until Friday, they were like, all right, let me get this card. It looks more favorable for him to get upgrades, even though it may be a long time from now. People are going and doing that SBC. So fodder is up a little bit on the top tier because of that yesterday and because of people going to the market and doing that. But today with rewards, people are going to get some fodder, whether you take tradable or untradable. I think they might be going and doing that SBC. I also think people might be buying a few cards for teams. Now, I want to show you an example of a card last week that had a really, really good movement two different times on Thursday. Because today, I would argue that today on Thursday is one of the most in demand, like gameplay is very highly in demand because a lot of people are probably going to play some rivals, probably going to play champs qualifiers. I personally am going, to be am going to be playing champs qualifiers today because I have not qualified yet and I need to get qualified for this weekend league. People are getting their rivals games in to get the points up. You even get some champs quality points from finishing rivals today, just a small amount. But this Kolo Mani card from last week, 
Um, and the reason why I'm saying explaining all this is because I think we can trade a little bit. I think there's going to be some action on the market today, guys. I hope that we have some movement so that we can A, make some coins, or B, make a good buy entry point for some players that we would like to get in our teams for the weekend, at least beginning to envision a good price for that. We'll have to see. But last week, this is the graph for Kolomani on Wednesday, right? We had a big market drop off last week on Wednesday as well. He went down, down, down into the early morning hours on Thursday when rewards hit. Right here, you can see. Rewards hit at what? 7, 8 a.m. for Rivals UK time. He was 34,000 coins at the start of Rewards. Maybe even dipped a little bit lower than that. 84 rated. Probably got packed a few times at Rewards as a lot of people were taking tradable rewards. He goes from 34K all the way till right before content, all the way to 40,000 coins, right? Why did he move so much? One of the most popular strikers in the game that people were buying a week ago because of the PSG and the French links. Now, a lot of people have moved on, right? And he's gone from 40K down to 23K. So this probably isn't a card that would do as well this week. But you can see he went from 34 all the way to 40. And then what do we get every single Thursday at the content drop? We get marquee matchups, which we would 100% be looking for once again today. And with marquee matchups, like we always talk about every Thursday, we get supply, right? And that dropped his price from 40,000 coins all the way back down to 33k for about an hour and then he went zoop right back up to 37 38,000 coins as people were buying cards for their team to play qualifiers to play rivals last week it was probably just rivals but it's going to be even more i think there's going to be even more gameplay demand today as a lot more people will go out and play qualifiers to get into the weekend league so that's the market movement that i think we might be able to take advantage of today and i think there's just going to be in general a decent amount more people buying cards for teams today after rewards, which could make great opportunities to trade or invest. Now, the best places to trade, you can look at my transfer list and tell right away, informs, special cards, heroes. That's the best place to go right now, guys. I bought these Harry Canes for like 120 to 124 to 128, and I sold them from 137 to 140. Not big profits, but these are the cards that are selling the best. I sold a Risa, bought this at 157, so a little profit, not a lot. I just bought um, two Kaviches at 170, and he's back up to actually above 200K now, but I sold him at 190 just to take the quick flip. I bought Lamer yesterday after he was panic sold all the way down to 175 and sold these two at 197. Also bought some Dodo. Guys, Dodo, amazing card to flip, okay? This guy moves all the freaking time on this game. He's 61,000 coins right now. He had a big, big crash yesterday like everything else did. Watch this guy during rewards. If he goes down to like 57, 58K, you know, obviously just watch the market and see how much he drops. But this guy is in so many people's teams. He gets used so much and he fluctuate on the, fluctuates on the market every single day. And he dropped off a lot yesterday. So people that need this card for links are going to be like, wow, he's cheaper. That's a great card that I need to keep a watch on. So definitely keep an eye on those. The team of the week cards today will be very good to trade with. Also out of pack specials, right? Harry Kane, you just saw me selling him for like 140K. This guy just moves, man. He just moves a lot. He was 127K just an hour or two ago, and now he's back up. Those are the types of cards I think you can make the most coin on right now because they're just more rare and they fluctuate a lot. Salah goes between like 620 and 680. Lewandowski's 178. That's really low for him. Lamptey I sold at 97 yesterday. Doku was above 60. So those are the types of cards I would focus on today with if you're going to be flipping some cards. But again, the probably the way I would look at it is today, try to buy cards if you're going to buy something during the rewards time frame for Rivals Rewards. Sell it before content so that you don't have to worry about your price crashing uh, after they drop the marquee matchups. And then during marquee matchups, watch the most high-tier, high top-tier, high-rated cards in this game for a potential bounce back. And also think about what players are being used right now in this game. A lot of French links, a lot of La Liga French links, like that Griezmann, the Ferland Mendy. Um, those are the types of players that I would keep a close eye on. And then, of course, your top tier, right? Sophia Smith is a card that seems to move very well in the market because she's just rare and she's high rated. 209, she was like 240, 250 even the last couple of days. Keep an eye on that sort of thing on this market right now today for some potential dips, some bounce backs, and some opportunities to sell. Also, like we mentioned with Usman Dembele, he's back down. I mean, he was like 220K. It looks like people have sold him back down in price to be about 200,000 coins. If he's actually in the road of the knockouts team, if we start getting leaks today, guys, if it's like Foot Sheriff, 
foot scoreboard, those types of guys are trusted leakers that we look at their leaks and their information a lot because they're very trustworthy. If they start leaking players to be in the promo team, just like we have had seen in the past, those cards could potentially be going out of packs, and that would mean a good investment opportunity. This Dembele is the lowest that he's been in a hot minute. I don't know if this means anything for what's coming this weekend. If we're getting a road to the knockouts team too, that's what we're assuming at this point. But that's another question that we have for today. Are we getting RTTK team two? I think we are, but we have no loading screen and really no leaks yet about who's going to be in that team. So watch out for that as well today. That could be a potential investment opportunity if you time it right. If you see a tweet that maybe have notifications turned on on Twitter and you're like, all right, I can go buy something because it's going to go out of packs, right? Also a quick note, some of you guys are asking, Nate, why why did Hyunmin Sun just tank yesterday? Or um, I think another player that tanked was Cancelo because he's no longer in team of the week, right? Um, those guys that were in team of the week too, their gold cards obviously came back into packs, uh, which Sun isn't down that much. Um, he was lower earlier, but that's what happens, right? The informs go out of packs and the golds come back in and some of those cards are down a lot. Same thing with the guys that are in the road of the knockouts promo. If you have a gold Saka, that'd be something I would probably try to offload after the content today. Maybe the same with Bruno Fernandez. Osaman, those types of players that gold cards are up, Diaz as well, um, sell those uh, before these cards go out of packs and their golds come back in. Now let's talk a little bit more about Thursday content today because there's a couple other things that we could see. First of all, there might be a player of the month from other leagues, right? We've got League One, we have got... Um, Air Divisie player of the month that are kind of rumored and leaked. We'll have to see. I mean, we haven't had a player of the month in a hot minute. We just started the month of October, and this is usually like the first two weeks of the month are where we see player of the month SBCs being dropped. The Premier League player of the month, of course, we have had the James Madison SBC that is still available for a little bit of time, 18 days. We've had the Boniface, right? Um, so I don't think we're getting a Premier League player of the month in a minute uh, because we haven't had a voting yet for that, but... Those other leagues, like maybe League One, Air Divisi, there's been some rumors floating around that we might have one of those. That could be a piece of content today. Thursdays are always pretty quiet, let's be honest, right? Marquee matchups will move the market. It won't be a quiet day for that. But for other SBCs and content, it actually might be. And then we did have some new packs that were added to the code. And before we learn more about what Road to the Knockouts Team 2 might bring or what the next promo is, this kind of makes me think... There's more Road to the Knockout stuff coming. Because if you take a look at these new packs that were added to the code, a lot of them contain Road to the Knockouts player picks, which also makes me kind of think maybe we're going to get a Road to the Knockouts cup, right? Because when they give out a lot of stuff like that in these packs and in, in the code, another one here with Road to the Knockout player picks, the Elite RTTK pack, um, that almost makes me feel like maybe we get a, uh, a cup this upcoming weekend for RTTK. Team 1 and 2, you use the RTTK cards in there. That'd be nice. That would be something, right? Come on, EA, some objectives to play for. Something like that would be really nice as well. Tied into an evolution, and that would be some banging content. But I wanted to point out a couple things in here. These packs aren't that crazy. There is, though. We're already starting off with the provisions packs, guys. Season opener, common gold provisions pack. Contains 45 gold rare players. Um, then, okay, see, by the way, these packs over here on the right, notice how it says old, ignore those. These are not new. It's the ones on the left that make a difference. Uh, so just some store packs, it looks like. The Elite Road to the Knockouts pack sounds like a store pack 100%. Uh, premium Road to the Knockouts, store pack. Base Hero 5 game alone pack, interesting, whatever. 82 times 10 and a join the club pack. I believe these are our pre-order, or not pre-order, those are the um, pre-season rewards from FIFA 23 that we did that we will be getting on October 12th. So just a couple days from now, we'll be getting those rewards finally. So those packs are in the code. And then also there were two new packs that were added. I don't know if you guys remember these from last year. It's a player pick that is a pack. I remember, I forget what promo it was where you could do an SBC to get a player pick that you wouldn't have to leave sitting in your unassigned so that you couldn't open other packs. It was a player pick that was like a pack in the store. Then you would open it and it would open the player pick, right? I think that is exactly what both of these pack codes are. They're both new. A rare gold player pick, one of two choice, and an 82 plus one of three choice. By the way, they're both tradable. So whenever and wherever these drop, that could be some market impact with supply 
as well because those are tradable guys those are very interesting i just noticed that they are tradable so a lot of unknowns for today in terms of player sbcs what we could be seeing what we could be watching on the game i'll tell you as well once again sell the road to the knockout cards after their game or during the game kalulu right nil nil draw this guy goes from 190k to 130,000 coins how cheap does this guy have to get before he's like too cheap right i mean compare him to like saliba varan uh, he's not far off of those. I know he's not Prem, but that's a pretty low price for me. Keep an eye on him. Openda, 187 after the game. Um, who else dropped off after yesterday's games? Um, really, Holland didn't move too much, but it's Holland. He's the best card in the game. Um, promo card in the game, that is. But watch out for Luis Diaz today. I mean, you compare Luis Diaz at 800,000 coins comparatively to, like, Saka was 900k. I mean, Bruno Fernandes was 700k after United scored the first goal. This card will not be 800k even if they win after their match. I would be very surprised. He is very rare and he's very good in game, I'm imagining. But... He's probably going to drop. If you have this card, I would sell it either during the match or um, at least don't hold it after the match too long because it's probably going to drop off today. Now, Seldilia and Pedro Gonzalez don't really have too much further to drop. Dodo would be an interesting one to watch today because he still maintains value and they have a game. So be careful with that one. But guys, these cards, no more games for three weeks. And that's a big issue with the road to the knockouts right now is that they don't have games for a long time. And that's why I think also you're seeing some of their prices drop. But they are very rare. And you can trade with them. As you saw, I flipped a Saka from um, 717 to 769. So it was like not that massive of a profit. But these guys do fluctuate a good amount. And they're pretty rare cards because these cards have been very difficult to back anyway. So you can trade with them. Just be careful. It's all about the timing, right? And that's kind of how it is right now in this market. So if we time it right today, we can probably buy some stuff around rewards, sell before content, and then buy again after content to try to get some quick flips going or if you're like nate i just want to buy my team sometime between today at rewards and tomorrow promo friday around the content drop should be a good time to pick up some mid to top tier players for your squad so that you can get ready for the first weekend league of fc24 that's the video for today guys if you did enjoy drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate the food accountant see you guys in the stream today peace out